Coach D. Rob, big 13 to 6 win over MIT, your ninth straight win here over MIT. Talk about that one. Yeah, we, uh, you know, we've uh, yeah, we yeah, played them. Yeah, we oh, yeah. played them. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. But I think it's, you know, starting to become a little bit of a rivalry here, and it has been uh, great games between the two teams. Um, the three years prior to this, I feel the side of each of those games, and, you know, today was a, was a touchdown ultimately. And, uh, but a great game, and you know, I told the guys after the game that I think the tougher team won, the grittier team won, the team that was ready to dig down and, and deal with the weather and not make it a crutch for things and go out there and perform. And you know, it was sloppy, we did a lot of things you know, poorly at times, but you know, in, in those games, it's kind of, um, you know, sometimes it's you know, who can hit a big play here and there and who's going to make less mistakes. And I think that was us today. So really proud of the guys. Uh, we definitely bounced back after a tough game last week. And, you know, hopefully this will kind of catapult us into the final two weeks still. You talk about hitting on a big play. What did you guys see on that touchdown pass to Nick Rossi in the corner of the end zone? Yeah, I mean, you know, Julian all year, he has not been afraid to take shots. And, um, you know, I think with how they play their coverage, they're so tight with our split ends that, you know, we felt that if we could just get off coverage and get a little separation, you know, we're, we're always going to take some shots on game day. And, you know, the other thing, too, is today we really could only take shots two out of four quarters. It was mm -hmm. kind of the thing with MIT, too. The wind was blowing so, uh, it was so difficult, you know, two quarters out of four. So, uh, you know, we knew when we wanted to take our shots. And, uh, we, you know, sometimes a little bit of timing, opportunity, luck, and that's the uh, result of it. Defensively, I spoke with uh, Nick, Nico about this. When you guys allow 100 yards or fewer on the ground, this is now your fifth win this year. Talk about the preparation of that front seven, if you will, your, your, your D-line and your linebackers helping to propel the defense. Yeah, I mean, MIT offensively, they don't do a lot of different things, but the things that they do, they do really well. And they have a young offensive line, and they have a stable of running backs, and their quarterback, really, I think he's one of the best kids in the region. I really do. And um, especially in making decisions, and he proved today that he can run the football. And, you know, the, the QB draw, um, especially in the second half, got us a little bit, but you know, they have a couple of good running backs, and I think, you know, when we just play good sound defense, we're tough to beat. And, um, you know, sometimes we kind of get off, and we want to blitz, and we want to do that, and then we have to take a step back and just say, let's just, let's just play our base stuff and try and let teams beat us. And it is difficult for teams, you know, to do that. So I think it was, a, it was definitely a good day, and our defense finished the game the way that we have always wanted to finish games this year. And it has been a little bit inconsistent, but today they, they got it done um, when it matters the most. You talked about the tough loss last week. What does it mean to you, your program responding the way they did to this weekend? Yeah, absolutely, 100%. Um, you know, what will the next week bring? You know, and we talk about hitting the reset button. After every game, win or loss, it's obviously a little bit more difficult to do it after a, after a tough loss. And um, But we talk about it. You know, we watch the game film. We go out Monday night, we practice. And, you know, collectively, I always tell the guys, listen, win or lose, hit the reset button. It's time to get ready. You know, for the next opponent, and without a doubt, we're watching our guys play today, how inspired they played, the energy that they brought, despite the weather conditions. Um, you would have thought that we were seven and zero out there today, and that's something I'm really, really proud of. Just the um, tough, gritty young men that we have in this football program, and, and that's why one of the reasons why I love them so much. Coach, congrats on the big win. Good luck next week. Appreciate it. Thank you.